welcome to the Astro Imaging Journey channel. Please enjoy the episode. Hello and welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. And in this part, we're going to go through the subframe selector uh, process, not the script, the process. Uh, so we've got the process icon here. We open it up. And you can see here, I've already got a formula inputted there. I can't take credit for that formula. I uh, got that formula from the Light Vortex Astronomy uh, site, which I've mentioned before. Uh, works pretty well, uh, has served me well, so I leave it uh, there. Now, some of the things you'll have to uh, get are your uh, camera gain, your subframe scale, um, all of that you'll have to get for your particular camera and setup. Uh, if we open up a file, so let's, let's clear this out and open up my calibrated blue frame. No, not my calibrated. Cosmetically corrected blue frames. Now, if I open one, just by double clicking it, I can come up here and I can look at the fits headers. Okay, and as we scroll through the fits header, you can see if you're using fits. If you've got a one shot color that doesn't do fits, say like a DSLR. Uh, unfortunately, you may not have access to this information. However, uh, with my camera and SGP and all that, we get the good scales. We've got a focal length of 1960, which is what my camera is. My scale looks like I need to update that to a 40605. So we will put that as a 461. 4061 rather and my camera gain uh, 1.0483 so that's a 29 rounded up the 12 bit camera and yeah we'll close out the fits header and then we have our directory, so we're going to need to change that to, uh, I have a directory for weighted, and we're working blue, so we're going to change this to blue. And the keyword, you can make that keyword whatever you want, SS weight for subframe selector weighted, um, works just fine. Just remember whatever keyword you use, you're going to use that later during the image integration process. Uh, everything else, I pretty much believe they're defaults. I don't remember updating any of those. So if I did and I'm not letting you know, I apologize. Uh, but right now, the key thing here is to make sure this routine, let me close out this here, sorry, scroll moment. Uh, this routine is measure. The two that we're going to use are output and measure. And right now we haven't measured anything, so we don't want to use output. So we're going to select measure, hit apply global, and when this completes, we'll be back. All right, that has completed. So you can see here we can select which column we want to uh, sort by and how. Uh, so if we scroll over here, I keep the names uh, fully exposed. Uh, here's our weighted column. And this one is a 61% value and our best frame is an 85% value and there's a lot that goes into this full width half max uh, minimum maximum eccentricity minimum and maximum 
S and R weighting, minimum and maximum. So there's there's a lot that goes into this uh, formula. Uh, Chiron over at Life Vortex Astor Astronomy uh, has a decent tutorial on this uh, process, and I believe it was a script when he wrote the page, though. Uh, but he explains why he has this uh, the way it is. So please go check out uh, that. Uh, site and that tutorial uh, if you want an explanation on that expression as well as what the expression actually is and then you can tweak it to suit your needs but there's a few factors in why this particular one would be less as we can see our full width half max 3.2, 3.4, they're pretty close. Eccentricity is 0 0.367 to a 0 0.45. Uh, noise is an 8.1 as opposed to a 6.9. So one of the key things, let's see, that's, that's at the bottom. This camera, it was a colder night. Uh, this one, it's up two degrees Celsius, but the night might have been even the, you know, even those two degrees Celsius, the actual air temp that night between those two frames, it could have been 15 degrees real time, which means the camera wasn't working as hard. So maybe there was more noise injected on this one. Maybe there was some clouds, maybe there was some moon glow bleeding through uh, you know there's a whole host of reasons why these frames are uh, less quality than these which is why this subframe selector process is so great because this frame will carry much more weight than the lower frames but at this point before i do anything else what i want to do is i want to double click on my best frame so this is just want to make sure I'm at the bottom. That's my best frame according to the process. I'm going to double click on it. I want to bring it up. I'm going to right click on the uh, image tab. I'm going to say send it to workspace 2. Now if we look down here we've got four squares. We are on the first one which is workspace 1. And now over on Workspace 2, if I click on that, there's our best frame for blue. We're going to keep that one in mind for later, as that is going to be uh, our reference frame in later processes. And we're going to do that for every single one of our filter or data sets per filter. So when we get done here, I've got eight filters. I should have eight files open here. So with that, we're going to change this over to output. And then we're going to apply global. And we'll be back when that completes. All right, that has completed. As you can see, 60 foot, 60, or 36 were outputted. None were rejected. Wrote the new file into the directory and it added the keywords. So uh, at this point, I want to rock and roll with the rest of my data sets. And we'll be back when that's complete. Or actually, no, we won't because I'm just going to rock and roll, finish these out so we can move on to the next process or next. Yeah, next process in the workflow, which will be star alignment. So with that, I'm going to say thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you found it informative. As always, clear skies, and have a good one. Thanks for watching yet another video from the Astromage Engineering Channel. Really appreciate your viewership. In our upper right, we have the latest video we've uploaded. In our lower right, we have what YouTube might think you would enjoy. And in the lower left, 
is our subscription button. Please like this video, subscribe if you so choose. As always, clear skies, have a good one, and remember Duke.